Welcome back, everyone. It is tier list day. And as you can tell by the screen, we are doing the definitive Stranger Things character tier list, season one to four, but there's more than that on here. Uh, has been updated. So basically, we're just going to do this as a whole, what we think of the character up to this point. If we like them, if we don't like them, if they are forgettable, because there are a lot of people who are fairly forgettable. So, bear with me. We're going to go through this. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my conclusions here. Uh, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. Just kidding. Okay. Popping off. Starting with 11, main character. I mean, I think the, the character development's been great. Um, there was one season where I kind of fell off because it was... I think everyone kind of was a little worried that Stranger Things was falling off. The season where she like went away and hung out with those like that one group of kids that was like different than the normal kids. I really thought the show was going to go downhill after that. But this most recent season was probably the best Stranger Things season that's happened to date. Obviously, you know, you got to build up. The first season's great, but I'm really excited to see what they're going to do, how they're going to conclude everything. But Eleven's character, fantastic. Lucas. Lucas isn't a bad character, but at the same time, I just don't know if he really gets a fair a fair amount of character development. And especially in this new season, like I do like that he stood up to his the the basketball team and kind of made it made his way like made it apparent that you no, know, he's with the homies, he's not with them and but I just don't feel like his character development has been as strong as some of the other ones. Will Byers, I I feel like Will is probably one of the weakest characters after the first two seasons. Not weak physically, but like just weak as in we really didn't get much. We kind of got a little bit going into this to this last season. Like you know, we we don't really know where he sits with everybody. Uh, it kind of seems like he might, you know, have feelings for Finn, which is, you know, I, I felt, or excuse me, Mike, not Finn. Finn's his name, real name. Uh, he might have feelings for Mike. I just felt like they didn't really do much else with it. But I am pretty certain that Will is going to be, like, the pivotal character going into these next couple seasons. Seems like they're going to do a lot. But by God, get that man a new barber. Oh, Jesus. Um, his brother, I feel has completely digressed as a character. I cool. He's the stoner dude and him and Nancy's relationships kind of failing. And uh, eh, I don't know. He, I really don't care for his character. Papa Steve, one of the best characters in the show. Comedy relief. He's, you know, the, the powerhouse. He's the leader kind of. Uh, Steve is one of the best characters in the whole show, hands down, and has been for a while. Joyce, you know, we all like hot moms, right? And I actually really do like her character quite a bit. She's, I don't know, I just like the the mom aspect of it, but also, like, she makes moves. And in this last season, I really liked how she kind of, you know, drove to go, you know, she really was the pushing force to go get Hop Hopper and, all the scenes with her in it were great. Uh, let's see here. Papa Martin. Um, it's tough. His character's interesting, but he's not flushed out a lot. Like, we don't really know all of the reasons why he does what he does. Max's character, I think, is top quality. Uh, I really like that they've developed her further and further. The character is amazing at this point. Like, you know, she has this trauma with her family and like i feel like she's one of the most flushed out characters and hasn't even been in the show since the start i mean i guess technically she has but i really like what they did with her in this last season billy i thought billy was a great character um he he played the role of a 80s aesthetic villain to a t 10 out of 10 couldn't ask for more Robin, Robin's not bad. I mean, I feel like she's still kind of a newer character and we're kind of coming into her own. You know, she's trying to 
she's trying to figure out her feelings towards people and i like her banter with steve i think it's hilarious but i think she still has a lot more you know she's definitely a side character right she's not a main character uh erica speaking of side characters I think any time Erica has been in the show, in the small amount of scenes, I've enjoyed it. She's hilarious. She ain't taking shit from nobody. Love it. Uh, Karen. You know, I... It's tough. I have a hard time with her... Oh, wait, no. This isn't who I think it is. That's the mom. I don't know. Forgettable. That's not who I was thinking of. Bob, listen... Listen to me right fucking now. This man is the reason why Middle Earth didn't fall. He's the reason why everyone in their hometown in Stranger Things didn't die. Bob is a goddamn hero and a saint. Put some fucking respect on his name. Eddie. I, I'm sure everyone agrees with me. I think Eddie was the star of this last season, 100%. Every scene he was in was great. He His acting was phenomenal. The character that they built was phenomenal. He's like the guy you always kind of, you know, he gets bullied at school from the jocks, but then you realize he's the most, you know, he was actually the cool kid, right? Like, I, I love it. I, I thought his character was awesome, and I hope, I hope we get to see more, but we'll see. Um, Barbara, listen, I'm not... I'm not saying this in a rude way, but she's forgettable. She wasn't that pivotal. Uh, Murray, I fucking love Murray. Murray's hilarious. He's just the wild card. He is the wild card of the show, and I enjoy anytime he's on the screen. Sam Owens, forgettable. Argyle, you know, <laughs> it. I'm putting it here, like, okay, all the scenes that he was in phenomenal funny hilarious comedy relief 10 out of 10 loved it but oops but as like a character to the whole story obviously we don't have a lot going on um we'll see if there's more to it but i really like his character for the fun of it but he's not you know he's not pivotal scott clark this was their teacher i liked him a lot Good round of good full character. Um, the dude who I didn't realize played the faceless god in Game of Thrones. Uh, his, his character was okay. I mean, kind of same thing with Argyle, right? Like, the scenes he was in was good. And, you know, he did help Hopper a lot. But, you know, I wouldn't say that he's top quality. Um, Callie, I don't know. See, this was that season that we all just try to forget. I don't really care. Ted, <laughs> anytime Ted says a goddamn thing, he's a vibe because he's just a grumpy ass, and I think it's hilarious. Holly Wheeler, I don't even know what scene she's been in. Uh, Calvin, I don't know. Phil, don't remember. Yuri, fuck you, Yuri. <laughs> Yuri was kind of piece of shit. Uh, Becky Ives, I mean, I like the TikTok song, but... We didn't really get a whole lot. Terry Ives, don't know. Larry Klein, don't remember. Oh, wait, no, Chrissy. Chrissy, wake up. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I guess she was an okay, like, I, I don't, she didn't wake up. Fred Benson, no. Patrick McKinney, he's, no. Jason Carver, listen. <laughs> Kid's a dickhead. But, like, okay, if we're talking acting... He's he's definitely up here. He's a great actor. He makes you hate him so much. It's like the Joffrey effect from Game of Thrones. Uh, but you hate him. You gotta hate him. Jack Sullivan. I mean, some of these people like were just so not pivotal. Tommy Hagen, forgettable. Heather Holland, forgettable. Alexi for the comedy relief. He was great, but that's it. Carol forgettable tom forgettable bruce forgettable Susie, shout outs we in utah shout out some mormons <laughs> Susie's character is great uh, you know not not like important but great 
Jim, I mean, I think it's I think it's fair to say that Jim's one of the best characters in the whole show, hands down. The development we've seen with his character is phenomenal from grumpy ass, you know, police force guy to caring, loving, you know, father of 11 pretty much at this point. I, I love his character. Victor Krill, uh, you know, I it, it's one of those things where like, yeah, he was in the show and he's clearly important, but not... I don't know. He's not one of our main boys. Same with him. James Dante. Nancy! You know... Okay, Ted probably shouldn't really be up there. <laughs> Nancy is a, one of those characters that's it's weird. Like, she's very... She's got a lot of screen time. She has a lot of development. But I just don't personally really care for her. I don't know. It's like... She obviously doesn't love jonathan anymore which maybe she does but there are things looks like it's gonna end she may go back with steve I, I don't know i don't really ship it i don't really care i just i don't really i didn't really care for her at it like her personality attitude in this last season it seems like she just like i like the parts where she's trying to be a hard ass but then like there's also parts where she just kind of seems like a bitch and maybe that's the character they're going with but i, I don't know uh i don't even remember who that is angel man did anyone make a outstanding impact in such a short time she was the bully at 11 school in california or wherever, wherever they were man i was pumped when she got punched in the face lonnie byers i mean if you didn't cry at that last scene i don't know oh wait no that's not who that is never mind i don't know who that is keith forgettable connie forgettable Claudia, I don't even remember who that is. Benny Hammond, I don't know. See, I don't like I didn't like any of this, like the Dottie, Axel, Mick. I don't I didn't like any of that. Funshine, I don't even remember who that is. Miss Kelly. <sighs> She's the psychiatrist, right? Miss Kelly's very interesting because if you start digging into some of the fan theories, if that's who I'm thinking it is, right? I think that's the the psychiatrist for the kids at school. There, everyone's thinking that she is actually under control by Vecna because, like, she wears like a necklace that represents, like, has a lot of symbolism, and all of her patients are people that Vecna went after. Like, that could play a big role into. It. I'm putting it F just because, like, she didn't get any character development, but could be a really cool theory if it's true. Doris, I don't care. Two, I don't care uh wayne munson that's the guy i was gonna say if you didn't cry with this scene at the end with dustin man i don't know if you're human florence who cares agent wallace eh. mike 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 you know it sucks because i really 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 liked what they were doing with mike but then it's almost like they just dropped him as a main character. I don't know if you guys felt the same way this last season as I do. But it was like we got Steve and Jim had plenty of time. Eleven, Max, and Eddie obviously had lots and lots of screen time. And then like Will and Mike, Jonathan, you know, th these guys didn't get much, it seemed. And I don't know if that's by... Like, that's the point, or what's going on with it? But I really felt like Mike's character took a nosedive this last season because we really we didn't get anything from him. Uh, Agent Harmon, died a hero but forgettable. Neil, Vecna. All right, let's talk Vecna. I'm really enjoying the character development of this main potential main villain, right? We don't know... We still don't fully know what's going on, but if you start reading into fan theories, a lot of people think Will Byers' D&D &D picture he made for Mike actually shows that Vecna really still isn't the true mastermind. There's going to be one more big mastermind, and that's probably what's going to be the last season or two. However more do they do? But I really liked Vecna's character. I didn't see this coming. You know, I didn't 
anticipate so much to change in this last season in the storyline, but I really enjoyed it, and I think they did it really, really well. Uh, Mind Flayer, like, I mean, yeah, it's cool, but we still don't know a lot about it. Vicky, I mean, she played such a small, forgettable role. She's, I mean, she's going to be what? Robin's love interest, right? Is that, if I remember right? Miss Bingham, or Mr. Bingham, I don't know. Jake, forgettable. Is this supposed to be the Demogorgon? I don't even know what this picture is. D. Artagonin? Demogorgon? I don't know what that is. Sorry. Oh, there's the Russian Demogorgon. Oh, regular. I don't even know what, I, I don't know what this is. My, what is that picture even of? Are those those little dog things? Uh, fuck them. I don't want them on my tier list. All right, Demogorgon, phenomenal. I mean, obviously you don't get a character development, but as far as like creepy creatures go, fantastic. I'm not going to rate the Russian Demogorgon because I don't really care. Andy, eh, forgettable. No one cares. Eden, no one cares. Ray, eh. Ellen, no. Uh, Marissa? I don't know. And then obviously Dustin. I think Dustin's as quality. Now, I, I'm obviously joking about Bob. I think if we're really rating Bob, Bob's an A. But I think this is probably my tier list close to in order. I'd probably put Murray there, Billy, Erica. I'd probably bump Erica down quite a bit. I don't think I'm going to have demogorgon actually on here because it doesn't make sense uh billy bob i mean bob only played one season but i loved his character bump joyce up lucas robin scott nancy erica c list is pretty heavy but i, I agree with it jonathan yeah yeah this is my list i think steve and jim are my favorite characters and then followed shortly by 11 max and eddie Dustin, I think they're the. I think that's our top quality p picks right there. Let's check out the community rank and see if anyone agrees with me or disagrees with me. Okay, so they have a lot of people up on there. Will is a double S. I'm missing something for sure. I mean, maybe as a whole, but people like Alexi. I get that. Man, F tier. Who do they give F tier to? Demogorgons. Rude. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. I don't know. I mean, everyone has Steve as number one, so I get it. But yeah, that, that's my list. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with me. And you know, I guess I kind of win at this a weird way. I did the forgettable just thinking that, like, I remember the characters, but they didn't really, like, they just don't stand out to me when I think of Stranger Things. So maybe I need to, maybe we'll come back to this as the season goes on and, Maybe I'll just put everyone up in the tier list as whether I give a shit or not. But let me know if you guys agree or disagree with me. Thank you so much for watching. And like always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.